Here's a small trick that anyone can master. The magician starts with empty hands and shows us an ordinary can of beer. It's still factory sealed and, judging by the generic brand, certainly nothing special. Next, he shows us an ordinary coin. Yes, it's true that beer once cost a nickel, but this trick doesn't date back quite that far. With the coin resting on his outstretched palm, the magician forces it through the bottom of the can, as if by magic. Go figure. Nothing in his hand. Yep, there's the rattle. It must be inside. The magician now breaks the seal, and the beer begins to flow. He pours it into a glass, careful not to spill a drop of the suds. But where's the coin? Rattle, rattle, rattle. Must still be inside the empty can. And there it is slightly smelling of brew, but still legal tender. A good trick that fools them every time. Now for the secret. The magician shows us that the can hasn't been altered in any way. Neither is the coin. So how does he pull off the trick? With a simple touch of sleight of hand. When the magician appears to force the coin through the bottom of the can, he simply allows it to rest inside the bottom lip. Meanwhile, he shows us that his hand is indeed empty. Next, he turns the can upright, and the coin drops back into his palm where he can hide it from view. There it is, right where it began and ready for the next piece of business. He secretly manipulates the coin to his fingertips as he displays the sealed can and flips the tab. The foaming beer and his fingers provide the perfect cover as he drops the coin into the can. That is why you don't see the coin being dropped through the opening and sinking to the bottom of the can. He pours the beer as the audience waits in suspense for the coin to spill out. He stops just before it falls so that he can dramatically shake the can one last time and pour the coin into his empty hand. A convincing trick that is simple once you know the secret.